Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to uh, discuss about the consequence of high latent specific heat of fusion of ice. Okay. Uh, the same way we studied some natural consequence related with the specific high specific heat capacity of water. Now, the melting of ice, how it uh, happens in the or how it affects the natural process. Okay. Snow of the mountain never melt at once. Have you ever heard that? Just consider or just imagine if the entire snow of the world started melting at once. We won't be on the earth. Right? No? From Antarctica, Africa, everywhere if the snow started or ice started melting together, the water level raises up. But it never happened. What is the reason? Because the high specific latent heat capacity of ice is 3,36,000 joule for 1 kilogram. Right? So, if 1 kilogram ice need to melt, it has to absorb 3,36,000 joule from the uh, sunlight. Okay. So, this process happens very slowly. That's why the entire snow never melted once. Okay. Same way, in cold countries, uh, the lakes never freeze together. Only the top layer will freeze and it can manage the aquatic life. Okay. Same process, when the temperature of the surrounding falls down, the top layer of the water will convert into ice. So, water is converted into ice. By that time, 1 kilogram of water, when changes into ice, it liberates 3,36,000 joule energy to the surrounding. So, the surrounding temperature is managing uh, up plus the ice which formed act as a bar conductor of heat energy. So, the heat energy under the aquatic water will maintain in a proper way and it preserves the aquatic life. In summer days, we uh, wish to have cold rings, right? No. Instead of adding the cold water, we used to put the ice cubes. Why? Because if we compare the ice and water, they will consider it in terms of gram. The specific capacity of uh, water is 4.2 joule per kilogram Kelvin. And if we consider the ice, it is 336 joule per kilogram. Right? <laughs> if you are adding an ice cube, it requires 336 joule to uh, melt it. 1 gram of ice required 336 joule to melt it. So, from where the ice absorb energy? Ice absorb energy from the juice. So, if you are using a cold water, it requires only 4.2. It requires more time to make the juice as cold water. This is the reason when we buy juice instead of cold water from the bakery or the cold bar, they used to add the ice cubes. Okay. In cold countries uh, or if we get a hailstorm, soon after the hailstorm, what happens? The sudden temperature of the atmosphere fall down. What's the reason? Because when the hailstorm is like a, uh, it's ice, right? No? So, what happens after the hailstorm? The ice start melting. During the melting time, it absorbs energy from the surrounding. So, the surrounding temperature suddenly falls down after the hailstorm. Same way, when the ice of the frozen lake start melting, during that time also, for the melting, the ice has to absorb energy from the surrounding. So, the surrounding temperature will fall down. Okay. So, these are some of the natural consequences only related with the fusion of ice. Same way, we can see so many other uh, examples related with the high latent heat capacity. Okay. So, this latent heat means uh, during the phase change, the amount of heat energy absorbed, right? Okay. So, wherever the presence of phase change is there, 
there the reason when you get the question for the board examination some example will be given you have to write what is the reason then specifically what happens okay so wherever you feel that it is related with the uh, phase change you can write the first reason as that is due to the high latent heat capacity of that particular material okay uh, a very simple example i will mention few examples related with that during your sports day after you have done your sports meet or running race okay will be completely sweat right no but you are running very fastly your energy you are using because of that you will get sweat if a cold wind comes what do you feel you feel too cold or in olympics and all you might have seen that uh, after the running race suddenly the coach or someone will cover the particular sportsman right no the reason is that the person got sweat then what is going to happen it is in the liquid form so suddenly the liquid start evaporating into vapor state for that the temperature or the heat energy is absorbed from the body so that is the reason soon after the running race or any uh, sports event the sports person always feel cold because from his or her body temperature or body heat energy the sweat started absorbing the heat energy to convert it into the gaseous form okay then you might have seen that during the summer season the dogs always keep their tongue out okay that is a uh, mechanism or the technique used by the dog to maintain its body temperature during the uh, summer days okay so uh, they will produce too much of saliva so when they keep their tongue out the saliva from the tongue will start evaporating into the atmosphere for that the temperature or the heat energy is absorbed from the body of the dog itself so by that way they can reduce their body temperature to cope up with the summer days same way when we get high fever doctors suggest to keep wet clothes or your parents might have done for you why what is the reason when we keep the wet cloth on your forehead suddenly evaporation is happening right no so that water droplet evaporate into the atmosphere by taking heat energy from your body so suddenly your body temperature will fall down okay or uh, if you take bath at 12 o'clock 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the summer season once the water drain out before wiping your body you feel cold right what is the reason the same reason the water droplet start evaporating into the atmosphere by taking the heat energy from your body so these are some of the examples it's almost everything is related to the evaporation evaporation is also a kind of phase change from liquid to uh, gaseous state below boiling point so when you get a question read the question properly and if you feel that it is related with a phase change that is the reason is high latent specific capacity of particular material it can be ice water or now we are every day we are using the sanitizer right no when you pour the sanitizer on your hand you get a cooling effect right what happens sanitizer is mixed with spirit volatile liquid okay so suddenly that will evaporate into the atmosphere so from where it takes the heat energy or absorb heat energy from your and that's why when we use a sanitizer or any volatile liquid we feel or we get a cooling effect okay so uh, read the question properly and try to understand which kind of whether temperature change is there or phase change is there if temperature change is there use a point high specific heat capacity if the phase change is there use high latent specific heat capacity thank you